Hello Hall Bills and Matchbox Car Collectors and Model Builders. As you've seen in the title, I'm going to be going over the repairs I've done to this hot rod. Now, first things first, I'm recording this around about 8.30 in the morning, so I'm planning on editing it and uploading it maybe around the afternoon. So first things first, this would have not been possible without this super glue. Uh, I got a really good price on it at Walmart. It's called Duro Super Glue. I believe I got it for like a dollar eighty cents, and there's like five of them in the pack, and it works very good. For things, first things first, I'm gonna be showing you the damage. You can see the crack right there. Just imagine this whole entire thing disconnected, like completely disconnected. The only thing that was holding this up really was. I'll show you real quick. The only thing I was holding uh, that axle up was the little turning thing right here. Another thing that was also disconnected on the front suspension was... <coughs> Excuse me. This piece. This was also only attached by that, um, that steering piece right here. So as we move to the, um, the bottom of the model... So when I first got done with this, I thought I was finished. But when I looked on the, when I looked on the bottom, the drive shaft was completely detached from the car. And the one thing I could not fix is the fact that the this back little suspension got bent forward. So hopefully, I'll find a way I can fix that. Maybe I don't know if I can fix that, but I'll try to. But my. Most, my probably uh, my most favorite thing on, my, on this car would be the engine. You're probably wondering why. Well, first things first, my dad painted this, and you can see how he got the the red lines on there perfectly. He got these little wires on there, which you know adds to, to the um, details on the engine. You got the you got the belt, the little fan, you got the radiator. It's, it's just the engine itself is very detailed. We painted the engine, well, not chrome. But that's what it looked like before. Basically, look at the chrome right there. That's what the whole engine looked like before my dad painted it. We already got the red little, um, stripes on there. We didn't paint the body, I believe. I, I don't remember. It's been quite some time ago, but the flames on the body, I don't think we painted those. So as we go to the interior... As you see, uh, first thing you see is a Ford mat, like a floor mat on there, which is also like general material. I'm just going to call it carpet for now, but it's kind of fuzzy inside, which I found found very cool. I I am aware that the steering wheel is upside down. I need to fix that where it actually connects to the front two wheels again. So I might need to like, detach that and just move everything around, basically give it an adjustment. The interior was also painted, not the um, not the tan color, but the seats. You can see where they're black, and the steering wheel as well. Now there was a different grill that came with this car. There was two types of grills, and my dad chose this one. I believe I have it somewhere around here. I think I saw it a couple days ago. Not really sure. So both doors open. These actually not these used not to open up really well. I just gotta force it open a little bit, not to the point where you break it, of course, but just where it opens. You got the back trunks, which has like a little bit of the, the carpet feel on the back of it. It's a pretty big trunk too. So actually, I'm looking forward to putting this in the model garage. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to do that, because since this one's got more details and the stuff for the model garage has quite a lot of details as well. Another car I'm planning to put in the model garage is the 57 Belair. Speaking of 57 Belair, um, I actually fixed the rear bumper on it with this glue right here because the only thing holding up the bumper was tape. So after I fixed that, I was planning on making a video, but I thought I'll make a video on this one first since it was the most damaged out of the three. The third one was a Mustang Boss. Um, things that were broke on it was one of the mirrors and the head gasket off the engine. The, the windshield is pretty messed up too. I kind of had to bend that back in place, but you know it's kind of it's really straight now. So I'm like, I don't know how I did that without breaking it. This piece was loose right here as well. It's and this glue makes you feel like it never even broke off in the first place, which I really like. 
Let me do a, take a little quick look on the bottom again. As you can see, uh, we actually painted the red, the bottom of the, what seems to be the transmission red. I think that's the oil pan right there. The gray, we painted that gray as well. And then we'll do a little, see what the materials are on this car. The body is metal, the interior is plastic, it's long with the um, windshield right here. It's had no windshield, never has had one. The front grille is metal, but the, the front is plastic. The part's plastic right there. It has, the frame is metal. Um, everything on the bottom of it seems to be plastic. And probably one thing you're wondering if it bends down with the suspension doesn't. But still is a really nice detail to the car. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Now before I end this video, I'm thinking about doing a live stream on building a model car. Maybe not as detailed as this one, but I'm going to try to make it look good. Now, I have built one in the past. It was a Lamborghini Coutage, but I haven't made a video on it. I'm not really sure if this car is missing parts because it's been in the box. It's been here ever since my brother's born. Or well, actually, no, I think, I don't know what year we got it, but it's, it's been in the box. I'm not sure if it's missing pieces or not, but well, I guess we'll find out in that live stream. See you guys later.